What's up, y'all? This is your boy Dietrichs. Before we even get into this video, you might be thinking, why should I be taking relationship advice from this guy? Well, I've been in a long-lasting relationship for a few years now, and I don't want to brag, but we're pretty happy. No, we're not. Unless by happy you mean you're annoying and I can't stand to sit here for one minute longer. Hashtag B-I-T-C. Anyways, time to start the video. Seven signs of a crappy relationship. One, someone got too comfortable. So comfortable they got lazy. Not that being lazy is bad, but if you take advantage of it, over time, they can go from looking like this, to this, to even this. <coughs> Two, sex life. There is none. For example, one person always has some type of excuse why they can't do it. I would, but it's... That time of the month. But it's been that time of the month all month. We don't have any more condoms. But you're on birth control. I forgot to take my pill today. No worries, I slipped one in your drink earlier. How? I ran out of pills. What? And refilled it with Ambien. Wait, what? Wait, does that mean I gave does that mean I gave you a sleeping pill? Babe. Babe. Oh yeah. Does that feel good? It's been a while, right? Because it feels good to me. Nice and smooth. <laughs> Three, overuse of alcohol. The relationship got so tough that someone began using it as a crutch to take their pain away. Since there's a possibility that a minor could be watching this video, we decided to substitute alcohol for something more appropriate. Compatible. Sometimes opposites don't attract. Five, someone acts too immature. Like for instance, my girlfriend always talks down to me as if I'm a little kid. She forgets that I'm a grown man. Wait, is that a Nerf gun? What? Six, arguments. They start to happen more often than they used to. And mostly over the smallest things. Did you leave your dishes in the sink again? Well, did you drink the last of the alcohol? Ugh. No, you ugh. No, you ugh. No, you ugh. You ugh. 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 Go back to the root of why you first even fell for one another. Maybe it was the way you made each other smile, the way you made each other laugh. But over time, someone started to become more comfortable, someone became a bit more jealous, and arguing started to happen more frequently. But why is that? Because somewhere down the line, you guys lost hope in one another, and instead of solving your problems, you ignored them. Thus, the problems became worse and worse. And the truth is, your relationship is not perfect. No one's is. But what can make you two perfect for each other are all the imperfections. There will be ups, there will be downs, but it's all worth it. As long as you never forget what's most important, the answer to all your problems, which is the overall picture. The end. You mean like this? Bloopies. Wait, so I gave you a sleeping pill? Megan. 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 <laughs> I would, but it's that time of the month. But it's been that time of the month all month. Ugh. 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 Thanks so much for checking out the last video. If you like it, then click subscribe. Or you can click last week's video. Or you for more bloop. For more bloop. Uh, I'm blooping right as we speak. For more bloopers and BTS, click bloop. And BTS. Okay, unsubscribe. Bye.